Uh, to Herbie, I think we should point out that you have heard from some of your friends back in Columbus that there is a major story brewing regarding the Ohio State Buckeyes, and we're going to get to that right after this third down and one play here. Boise, all likelihood, trying to pick up the first down, which they do. But, but Herbie, uh, I think it bears uh, telling our audience what the local television stations are reporting in Columbus about trouble brewing for the Buckeyes. Yeah, there are reports, I guess, out of Columbus about up to eight or nine different Ohio State players involved in potentially being suspended. Uh, for the bowl game coming up in the Sugar Bowl. There's something about a tattoo parlor in Columbus that was raided and, and looked at by the IRS. And when they went in, they saw a lot of Ohio State uh, signed items. They asked where they got them, evidently. And they talked about, hey, we give these Ohio State players tattoos. And in return, they give us uh, signed items. And if it ends up being true, then, then I think Ohio State, the athletic department, Gene Smith is an AD and Jim Trussell is a head coach. They have to sit there and look at that and there's serious speculation at this point that Terrell Pryor, oh boy. Boom Heron, Devere Posey, are uh, some of the names right now that are being linked to that story. And of course they have a major Sugar Bowl BCS appointment uh, coming up in the All-State Sugar Bowl against Arkansas. Yeah, and it, it's, it's all hands on deck. Ohio State has not beaten an SEC team in a bowl game. And, you, you know, putting a lot into that to try to win that game. And you got to wonder how that obviously is the story, how it ends, whether or not it ends up being true or not. At this point, I think there's a lot of speculation. 